Let's never again. Yeah. And it's my shout. Oh. Uh, two pints, please, Mr. Walker. Oh, that's funny, though, isn't it? What? Well, tell me some of your troubles. Makes them seem a bit less. Oh, well, no man is an island. The poet said that, not me, so don't argue. He said that, did he? Yeah. Uh, two pints, please, Mr. Walker. Oh, they must have been married then. Anyway, thanks very much for listening. You must be sick and tired of hearing about me and Herman and babies. Oh, Belto, just remember your loyalties next time and Val locks me out in a sharp northeaster. Hey, Mr. Walker, the camels are coming. What's happened to the flipping water on? I heard yeah. your first time, lad. Just give me a minute, will you? The butler did it. <laughs> you what? Me and our kid, we saw the film, didn't we? All oh, right. Uh, you know, it's a funny thing. There's lads down at the university yonder that can read writing that's been in jars for 2,000 years. Get away. And I can't find out if my six homes have won from a paper that was printed less than an hour ago. Yeah, who am I looking for? The lads. Right. What's it worth to me if they've won? Four quid to me, a pint each for you for aiding and abetting. Right. By our own kid. Uh, Are you sure? Yeah, two, oh. three. Hello. Hello, Walker. Well, did she enjoy it? Oh, aye, she enjoyed it all right, uh, the match like. Uh, well, where have you put her? Oh, don't tell me she's in the showers uh, asking for autographs. Uh, you tell him. Hey, Nick, that's your job. Yes, but you're better at it than me. It's not in my business. I know, but... Hey, one of you tell me whatever it is. Hey, she's not had an accident, has she? Well, not exactly, no. All right, then where is she? Well, you see, Uncle Jack, a, a funny thing happened to me, Auntie Annie, on the way home from the football match tonight. Hey, it's your first time, isn't it? What? Your first time. I always know. Tell them you lost your memory. I beg your pardon. Oh, I got away with pounds and stuff in the early days with that tale. Constable, how much longer am I going to be detained here? Sergeant Dobson will be down in a minute, madam. You're going about it the wrong road, love. This lady isn't with me. Watch Maggie Monks. Really? Here, 49. Tell your gaffer to get his finger out. We're not all got Bobby's jobs. You'll learn. Oh, I see. Didn't know we had Lady Docker with us tonight. Had to put my corsets on. Now then, this is Ed Monk. Suspected shoplifting using abusive language in a public place, telling a police officer he was a... <coughs> yeah, was that you, was it? Certainly not. Eh? This is Mrs. A. Walker, Sarge. L. Johnson and G. Naylor. Right, what have you lot been doing then? Morris dances? Yes, all, right, all, all right, now then, broadly. Fighting in the street, Sarge. What, all three of them? Aye. Defending one's right of human freedom is not the same as fighting. No. You have heard of Eleanor Roosevelt? If she cuts off railway seats going to away matches with you, she'll no doubt be on the file. Flippinek is there again. Who? A councillor, sir. What councillor? They were with Mrs. Walker. Well, shut him up before I start getting irritated. But he's a councillor, sir. I don't care if he's Herman's flipping hermit. Tell him this is a cop shop, not a double-decker bus, and if he rings that bell once more, I'll have him in for disturbing the peace. Now then. Over to Barrington Dolby. How are you going, mate? Leave that bell alone, will you? Well, I thought you'd be out with your little crystals today. Well, uh, what about it, mate? What's going in there? Sergeant Dobson's talking to him now. Well, I tell you what, while you're at it, I'll go in there and do my bit, shall I, mate? No, mate. Why not, mate? I've got my pension to think of. And I thought you were a mate. Sergeant, I did not, I repeat, not throw a rattle at a shop window because of a disagreement with the referee. Well, she told us she didn't I was being attacked. She attacked oh, us. Yes. Yeah. I what, don't both of you on the road? I think she was having some kind of a fit. I so she went to pop eyed and staring, you know. A bit like she is now. <laughs> right now, then. What have you got to say about all this, madam? Only, Sergeant, that there is no point in pursuing the matter any further. You don't think so? No, you are aware, I think, that I was a candidate for local municipal government. I believe you did mention that. Yes. 
twice. And you might also be interested to know that I am not without connections in the Civic Trust. Oh. So I do not think there is any more to say. No? Except that there will, of course, be a letter to my MP by the first post tomorrow morning. And now, if you would oblige me by giving me back my handbag. Oh, this is your handbag, is it? It is. Now, you're quite sure about that? Of course. Well, uh, you might like to mention this to your MP while you're at it. I think you'd better tell me about it first, don't you, eh? Chestnuts. You are? Chestnuts roasting. That's what it always brings back to me sitting here like this and popping off like cannonballs because I forgot to put holes in them. Oh, I were only a slip of a girl. There are times when I think you still are. No, not anymore. With me, it's all that's been all made bread. Oh, mate? Aye, in tins in front of fire. I reckon that's the smell I shall take with me to my grave. Aye, <laughs> it's a lost artist bread making. You speak for yourself, Wally Tanner, but there's some things you never forget how to do. Well, let's have a bit of light on something, shall we? Oh, hello, Dennis, lad. Grandad, assemble guests. I've just been telling them all what a grand lad you are. Getting this nice fire all going for oh, us. Oh, it's all part of the service. And feel free, Grandad, to invite your friends round for a chat any time it comes over you. Did I tell you? There's no point in having three fires burning, is there? No, that's true. Tea, everybody? Just to get your jaws lubricated again? Well, I wouldn't say no. Right. I must say, it's very hard uh, to find you here tonight, of all nights. Oh? Then there's nothing else to do. It's probably at the Rovers by now. Uh, get in the front seat waiting for Black Mariah. What Black Mariah? Oh, don't tell me you don't know. You know what? Look at that. Where have you been? 1914? Andy Walker had just been knocked off for disturbing the peace outside Main Road this afternoon. You know, that makes you liable for slander, I suppose. Oh, no, she's down at station now, having a particulars taken. Hey, yes, it's never got this time, has it? Oh, I must be getting off. And where are you off to, Albert Tatlock, as if I didn't know? Oh, there's a meeting for the over-60s in half an hour, I've just remembered. Oh, ah. Oh, wait, hey, now fancy me nearly forgetting the over-60s. Fancy. Uh, I'll see you later. Come on, look. They were sitting here, enjoying themselves. Nattering and reminiscing and toasting the fish. That's, that's quality call, is that? Do I have to spell it out for you? Eh? Hey, you young uns, you think if you give us a cup of tea and a bun, we're at the gates of paradise. Well, we might not all be Emma Peels, but there's more to life than that, even if you have half a toenail in the grave. Oh, I can't win, can I? I thought I was making you all happy. Excitement, lad, excitement. You two ought to get your own, you're in a mouth to watch somebody else's. Oh, I see. Well, don't let me keep you, then. Oh, I can get malicious gothic eight days in the week, but three cups of tea ain't so frequent. And if you don't get that kettle off, you'll end up with a black bottom. Yeah, hey, mate, mate, mate. Hey, hey, hey. What? The copper in there's mate, I'm sergeant. Oh, sorry, mate. Her sergeant. Sergeant. Oh, sorry, sergeant. Now, can you think that she is a bird who'd fight with jobs? Uh, is she the kind of bird who'd chuck toilet rolls at goalkeeper? No. No, but she still had one handbag. I know where she got it from, too. Ah, uh, they can always explain that, mate. Uh, you do realise, of course, that I'm on the council, don't you? It has been mentioned. I was playing snooker with Tony last week. Tiny. Tiny Radcliffe, B-Division. Nice lad, you know. Going to have a couple of cup final tickets last year. An old mate of mine is, you know. Another mate. Could be chief constable one year, this fellow, you know. He's very clever, very understanding. Oh, uh, that's the trouble, isn't it? What? I'm not, and I'll never be chief constable, neither. And maybe that's why. Mm. Yeah. Leave her with me. She'll come to no harm, he said. Oh, you've heard, have you? Oh, not two hours gone, eh? And she lands up in prison. Well, what are they doing with you? Well, they've taken the thumb screws off and they're going to give it another couple of turns on the rack now. Oh, well, so long as it's not the Chinese water torture, she never could stand a dripping tap. Hey, now do I get a bit of attention here? Thump that. No, I... no, 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 let me. Oh, no. Who the heck do you think you are, the Hunchback of Notre Dame? Meet Mr. Annie Walker. Oh, what do you want then? Oh, just one thing, officer. What's that? If I play my cards right, is there any chance of you keeping her in? <laughs> Can't let you out of my sight for two minutes, can I? Good night. Oh, <laughs> I thought I'd never see the light of day again. Oh, Jack, the shame. 
I'm a criminal. <laughs> yeah, well, it's no wind, isn't it? Like Mrs. Sharple said. Ina Sharple? Yeah, when we were talking about you. Oh, you was talking about me, was she? That's nice. Oh, well, like about you and losing the baby and that, you know. Oh, did you show me birth certificate and tell her about me wooden leg? What does she mean, do you think? What? About an ill wind. Oh, well, um, I think she meant that uh, now you wasn't having a baby like it, it'd uh, give you another chance. Another chance? Yes, enjoy yourselves. It would have stopped your gallop a bit, wouldn't it, babies? It's always boss, you know. Yeah, I suppose there's one way of looking at it. I mean, take me and our stand, for instance. Now, them three days we had in Douglas, the year after we got wed, was like a second honeymoon. We used to just sit there every afternoon, holding hands and listening to Mesmer the Mesmerist. Now, we couldn't have done that if we'd had our Irma there striking her head off, could we? No, I suppose not. No. Now, if I was you, what I'd do next year is go somewhere foreign for your holidays. Well, not so foreign, saying, um, say Jersey, like. If you was me, you'd shut up about it, but I don't suppose there's much chance of that this side of next Christmas, is there? Oh, well, she's taking it bad. Aye. You don't know what to do for the best. Oh, I don't know. I reckon I do. Why? Oh, yeah. Well, it's not what you'd expect. Or Ina ill wind sharples either. Neither of you, for that matter. Yes. Pardon? You being stood there, I don't know how long. What do you want to drink? No, thanks. Uh, we're just coming for a sit down. <laughs> Why don't you? The snug's through there. We're all right here, thanks very much. You're too early. She's not back yet. Oh. Look, can I get you anything like opera glasses, a pocket tape recorder? Uh, Here we go. Here we go. Here we Yes? Hi. What do you want to drink? Uh, uh how do you mean? She's not back yet. Oh? No, you can't just stand there. It's not nice. What's she going on about? I'll ignore her. Perhaps she'll go away. It's oh. all right for you, isn't it? Is it? Well, you're not going to be banned forever from going to football matches when she gets back, are you? If she gets back. She gets cold standing about the middle, Albert. I gum. If it wasn't such a bad likeness, I should have thought I was at Madame Tussauds. <laughs> now we're all here, aren't we? Is there any deep significance in that remark, young woman? The usual, Mr. Sharples. If you please. They say olive oil's good for it, don't they? For what? A crick in the neck. You'll be able to tell me, won't you, after I've landed with my handbag? Ladies and gentlemen, here is a news flash. We don't know yet whether my Auntie Annie is going to get hanged or get life imprisonment. We don't even know when she's coming home. But when we do, we'll let you know by setting a chimney alight. That is the news from ITN. Good and... I'll do a love call, Mr. Walker. Well, we're not much further on, lad. What did they do to him? Has she been charged? It's being reported to the Chief Constable. It'd be up to him to decide. She's yes. never been locked up, has she? Is she in the dungeons? You'll be leaving the neighbourhood now, I suppose, will you? Well, I'm going to find her one day, she'll never dare show her face in here again. Ah, now, please carry on drinking, everyone. I would not like business to be affected. <laughs> Shows your pension book, you can come in at a price. Oh, thanks. Right? Great. I bought these round for Wally. Oh, he falls asleep when he reads. Well, I can look at the pictures. Oh, I'll pass them on when he gets up. He's sleeping now, is he? Every day, in every way, he sleeps a little bit longer. Still, I suppose I will when I'm his age, if I ever reach it, that is. You're coping all right, eh? After Dagenham Girl 5, because of Mrs. Charles Atlas, what's one granddad, more or less? Yeah, I'll see what you mean. How do you like it? As it comes, then. Not, of course, that it roses, roses all the way. No? It does tend to turn the place into an old folk shelter now and then. Yesterday, for instance, the only time I saw a fire in telly was through window. Yeah, well, you know what they say, never volunteer. Of course I'm not binding. Comes to us all in the end. Yeah, it? that's true. They're different from us, aren't they? You know, really different. Oh, they live in a world of their own, that's for sure. Yeah, they you try, and try and do things for them and they don't appreciate it. No, it's probably the wrong things. I mean, they've got a different set of values. They panic overnight, you know, like rain making a noise on dustbin. 
And it could be the monkeys if the house is falling down. <laughs> you know, Dennis, you've grown older this week. They're not even in the same room with you sometimes. You feel like phoning them up to try and get through to them. The only trouble is, even if you did, they wouldn't flame well be able to hear you. Yeah. Well, I suppose it's like me and Val have to get used to someday. I mean, Uncle Albert can't look after himself forever now, can he? Yeah. <coughs> Hello, I thought it was me ma'am. She looks like that this time in the morning. Uh, morning, Mr. Oh. Downey. It's cold today. Yeah, how are you feeling this fine morning? I'd be feeling a lot better if you hadn't awakened me coming in from work. Oh, once I'm disturbed, I can never get off again. Oh, this loss of sleep is a terrible thing. I must see my <coughs> See what you mean? I'd better get him some bacon on. He won't want it. He won't porridge, unless I've made him some. We are the champions, we are the champions. Thank you, Lucille. Uh, hello, Miss Amy. How are you feeling this morning? Alive. Would you like me to make you a nice cup of tea and let some drippy toast make you feel better? I would. My stomach wouldn't. Oh, I don't know what you're bothered about, Honest. No, but you haven't been in the public pillory. Well, I'm sure you've heard the last of it. I'm sure of it. Violence was the word used on the charge sheet. Was it? The last time I raised my finger in anger was when a boy I knew pulled one of my pigtails. I was 12 at the time. Would you like an aspirin? But that is the word that has gone down in the record for posterity. Violence. Jack, love. Yes, love? When you tell a joke, it isn't very funny. Hey? When you sing one, it's even worse. I wasn't singing, I was humming. You were getting at me. Hey, I wasn't. Oh, yes, you were. And I'll tell you both something else. I wish I'd never heard of Manchester City. No, look what you've done. What did I do? Goodbye, Main Road, Ella Wayne and Flippin' Andrews. Hey, and Andrews. Well, she'll never let me go to another football match, will she? So every Saturday it'll be all in wrestling, stock car racing from Doncaster flipping baths. Right, was there anything else? Uh, a packet of soap powder. Haven't you finished washing yet? I haven't started yet. Honestly, our house has been at Victoria Station this morning. Oh, why? The kids have spent the entire morning knocking lumps out of each other. Uncle Albert was in looking for his braces, and Wally Tanner was in looking for Uncle Albert. The Jungle Telegraph said you had another visitor. Who said that? Oh, us small shopkeepers are not allowed to reveal our sources of information, but she watches through the mission hall curtains. Mm. Oh, it's Mrs. Potter from Kitchener Street. She wants Ken to coach her son in the evenings for his GCE. Will he coach me? Well, will you pay him? Well, David would anything to get shut of it. <laughs> oh, uh, hello. Turn on. I say, you're a top this morning, aren't you? I know, that's what I was thinking. Yeah, well, I'm just, uh, j just off look for a couple of hours. Where? Um, yeah, out. Out where? Um, town. Town? Town. <laughs> what for? Uh, well, there's, um... A couple of things I've got to do. Right, well, for So, um, I'll see you about tea time. Yes, well, what have you got and to do? Not before. <laughs> well, I see uh, Christmas hard on Christmas Day this year and uh, Boxing Day the day after. Do you uh, think he's got another woman? Oh, he's welcome, Val. It's funny, though, isn't it? Not at all. You've a right to know where David's going on a Monday morning, all dressed up like a dog's dinner. He can please himself, can't he? It's a free country. Oh, if you say so. I do. I mean, it doesn't worry me. Hey, Val, where's our David going on a Monday, all dressed up like a dog's dinner? <laughs> Tell me, what are you planning to live when she comes out of jail? A tent on Rivington Fry? Well, that's very bit of present, Mr. Shoppels. You see me? Uh, oh, please, Mr. Oh. Walker. Oh, I think she's taking it all far too serious, myself. Well, I hardly stands to sense. I mean, look, what's the chief constable going to think when he sees Mrs. Walker on one side and two tearaways on the other? Oh, yeah, but you're forgetting one thing there, aren't you? Am I? Yeah, the broken window. I mean, Mrs. Walker did do that, didn't she? That's admitted. And it's an offence, is that, you know, defacing public property. Mind you, I'm on her side, naturally. Naturally. Jack. You've uh, been down to the station, then? Aye. Aye. Is she in? Uh, don't you think it would be better if you were to tell me first? I think I'd prefer to tell her direct, Jack, if you don't mind. All right. Please yourself. Hang on, I'll go and get her. 
are they going to do? I hope they won't, of course, but uh, are they going to persecute? I mean, not that I hope they do, because I hope they don't. Then. Annie. Wouldn't it perhaps be more seemly if we discuss this somewhere less public? Yeah, sometimes I think it's better to have your friends around you in times like this, you know. Yes, that's what I meant. However, continue. Well, you know this mate I've got down at the police station? Yes. Well, I've decided to pump him, you see. I told you that. Yes. About you? Yes. So I'll put it to him, whether the chief constable has made up his mind or not. Quite. Well, he has. I see. And this is what he says. In view of the offence and the type of offence that this is, football rowdiness, etc., etc. Yeah, yeah. You won't hear another flipping word about it. <laughs> Thank goodness for the tie. I'll second that. Congratulations. <laughs> First congratulations. Didn't that deserve a pint? It, it does indeed. Yes, yes, indeed. Right. It just goes to show you, doesn't it? What is that? Well, you happen? never can tell. After all they've said about finding new measures for putting down hooliganism at football matches, Oh, not that I mean you, of course, Mrs. Walker. No. Now, there is one thing, though, honey. Is there? You'll have to pay for the window. Oh, that's nothing. <laughs> That'll be your Christmas box, I right? reckon. Well, that's what it is, you see, the by simple public property. Hey, you know what this means, don't you, Mrs. Walker? What's that, Jerry? Then? Well, now that you're not going to cling, you'll be able to come here again on Saturday. Mm. Well, of course. Well, football match, United. I would like to make one thing clear. Here and now. Last Saturday's match was my first and last visit to a football game. Are you sure you won't sit down, love? No, oh, thanks. Standing, Mitch, you grow, didn't it, John? I'm sorry, Mr. Barlow's not home yet. It's all right. John's taking his own levels over. Oh. Again. Pardon? I failed him once. Well, I bet he passed next time, dead easy. I wish I had a sack for mine. I mean, I could have been the chairman of ICI by now. My son said, John, do you like school? It's all right. What do you like doing the best? No, I don't know. Oh, would you like some of the paper? A bit wet, the paper boy. I was in the No, thanks. Hello, hello, hello. Ken, this is, uh, this is Potter's son. Yes, that's right. It's John, isn't it? Um, sorry I'm a bit late. I got held up at school. Yeah, well, um... English and history, isn't it? Don't know. Uh, that's what your mother said. Yeah, well, I'll tell you what. We'll uh, go in the front room and have a chat, OK? This way. I'll see you later, love. And uh, a cup of tea. It'll be fairly stupendous. Try and shut him up once he gets going, can you? Mind you, do you know when I was his age, I never stopped talking. I don't know. Come to think. Of There's an unhappy little lad if ever I saw one. Mm, very. Still, there's a lot around, isn't there? Mm, too many. Come in. Mr. Barlow? Uh, yes. Mr. David Barlow? Yes, that's right. Won't you sit down? Uh, here? Yes. Would you like to take your coat off? Uh, no, I don't. Yes, I will. <clears throat> right. We'll start then, shall we? Uh, yes, right. Can I ask you one question right away, Mr. Barnett? Oh, uh, what's that? Well, don't you think you're a little young to be thinking about adoption? <laughs> 